Okay, so I've just finished working on my first boat building plan. This is the model from which all of the parts are derived and it's based on Rocket, which I've been building just recently. If you follow my YouTube channel, you'll have seen some of the videos from the build. Um, over the course of the build, I've learned a bit more about CAD and design, so I thought it'd be good to draw up the set of plans that I wish I had when I started building, basically. Um, so that's what I've done. The plans are going to be available in three formats. So that's going to be a one fifth scale model. If you want to build an RC version of the boat or something like that, um, a traditional dimensioned set of plans for lofting and a full CNC kit as well with nested DXF parts. So they're ready to get cut straight on a CNC machine and um, speed up the rate of build. CNC building is definitely the way that I would go with boats now. Um, it just takes a huge amount of the guesswork out of things and means you can progress much more quickly with the build. Um, it might cost you a little bit more in the first instance to get your parts cut, but it will definitely save you a huge amount of time um, going forward. So um, I'll go through each of the plan sets individually and show you a little bit of what's included in each one. I'll put a link in the description which will go to the new store that I've set up so you'll be able to buy the plans in digital download form and use them straight away. I'm going to be doing 50% off on these plans for the first month and to get that 50% off there's going to be a discount code uh, towards the end of this video so have a look out for that and you'll be able to get the plans half price so good bit of money off. I'm going to go through the different plan sets one at a time and show you exactly what's included in each one. Um, but first of all, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the design of the boat, um, the original design and the changes that I've made, additional parts that I've added. So the boat, um, as I've named it Rocket Mark II, is derived from an original design by William Jackson called Rocket. Um, for a stepped hull gentleman's racer. Below the waterline this is basically exactly the same as the original boat. Um, it's got a stepped hull at the keel um, and the chines run straight through. It's basically a, a 15 foot runabout. Quite nice straightforward build basically um, and a nice design in all. The changes I've made to the boat were a few corrections to the frames that were slightly off on the original plans that I'd found. Biggest change most of all was to the deck line. So the original transom was far more pronounced in the center of the deck than this design is. So what I've done is just flatten that out to um, the same shape that I built the boat to and readjusted the deck line to suit that. I've also added a few things such as the cockpit combing to have a nice round formed cockpit uh, you can either build the boat like that or you can build it with a more sort of square cockpit shape or um, something completely different if you prefer. The plans kind of allow for all different shapes however you want to do it really. The other thing that I added into the design was the engine hatch framework. So you can see the two additional frames there for the engine hatch weren't in the original plans so there wasn't really any sort of support method for getting um, the engine hatches in the correct place so they've been added in. Other than that the design really is much as per the original so we've just got a slight alteration to the deck line and a lot of extra details added in. There were uh, several dimensions that weren't included on the original plans so the set that I've done should be far more detailed and hopefully give the builder a lot more information that they need in order to make things more straightforward. So um, we'll get into the first set of plans and I'll show you what's included in them. So first of all then are the one fifth scale models. These are quite basic parts really that just give the outlines of each frame, outlines of the keel and all of the skinned parts of the boat, so the bottom of the hull, um, the sides of the hull, and the deck line as well, with the basic cockpit combing cut out in there. 
I've not done any work on the structure of the model. I'm going to leave that down to the builder to decide how the battens should be run on the hull. Um, so what you get is A0 PDF drawings, which give you outlines for each frame and the keel. Um, these lines here are kind of suggested scarf points if you're making the keel out of smaller pieces. Um, just help you line everything up. And the vertical lines show you the frame stations for each frame. These are on the forward side of each frame. And you also get your patterns for the skins as well. So these can be printed out on paper and then used for full size templates, or they could be um, CNC or laser cut if you want to use parts that way. So that's basically everything that you get in the fifth scale model drawings. So on to the lofted drawings then for the full size boat. You get several different files which cover dimensions for all the different parts. And the first thing I've done is produced a SketchUp model for reference really more than anything else. SketchUp because it's a free program it's quite accessible for a lot of people. And this model just shows you the basis of how the unfaired parts all fit together. Um, so you can look around it and see kind of what goes where. All of the construction forms here which help you position various parts of the boat. You can see where all of those land. Um, and really just use it for reference in, in 3D form which is a lot easier to, uh, to look around than perhaps some 2D drawings. As I said, I've tried to make these plans basically what I wish I had when I started building. So um, I've included as much kind of reference material as possible to um, give you the best chance of, of building the boat. If you're a bit inexperienced or if you've not done one before, uh, this kind of tells you hopefully everything that you'll need to know. So the SketchUp model is the first part of that. Also included are some high resolution renders of the model. So you can see again how the construction form parts sit and where everything on the boat lands. So you can just look through those and work out something if it's not very clear. Um, so we've got a document for all different kinds of angles of that included. Then we have a document for construction forms. So I've drawn support legs for every frame that will help you keep the boat square. This is based on your construction floor being flat. So if you don't have a particularly good floor that you're working on, it may be a good idea to build a subfloor or um, some kind of brace that straightens out all these legs. Um, there's also a keel form which helps you form the shape of the keel and its construction and all of those parts are dimensioned here so this is a typical page showing you the construction form uh, there's also a drawing for the cockpit combing form so if you want to produce the rounded cockpit combing there's a drawing for that that shows you the dimensions there is also a drawing that shows you all of these construction legs so everything that you need for construction forms is included in that document. Uh, the next document covers frames. So this is all of the framed parts for the boat, including the dashboard and all of the gussets. And these again are dimensioned and illustrated as well. So for each frame, you have a dimension page, which looks similar to this. A bit of a description about each frame and how it goes together dimensions for every section um, with details of all the cutouts and then following on from that you also have an illustration of how the frame should go together um, gussets positioned on one side and then removed on the other side so you can see the joint in the frame you get one of these drawings for every frame in the boat and some additional detail for the engine hatches the extra frames that I put in to support the engine hatch and a dashboard layout as well. Finally we have the document for the keel and the stem and breast hook and all the general layout of these associated parts. 
again this is all dimension for traditional lofting and illustrated as well so you've got a combination of a, a visual representation of the part and um, dimensions for it as well this shows you the engine position on this page engine bearers so as I say I've tried to include as much information as I wish I had when I started both dimensional and illustrations of how parts are assembled. So that's the sum of the files for the traditional lofted parts. Next I'll go on to show you what's included with the CNC kit. Okay so with the CNC kit you get all of the documentation that's included with the lofted plan sets. So your drawings for all the construction forms, drawings for the lofted frames, and the keel dimensions. You get the document that shows all of the renders for the boat, just for reference really on how it all goes together. And you get the SketchUp 3D model as well for reference. In addition to that, you've got a document that shows you all of the CNC parts. So there's full size DXFs for all the hull skins, all of the construction forms, and all of these parts are labelled as they are labelled on the DXF files as well. You have a construction forms section. This shows you the labelling that's on the DXF parts and also an illustration of how they go together as well. There's a drawing for each frame section. So here you've got part references which link to the DXF files. There's also an illustration of each part and its joint system so each part is jointed so that when it comes to assembly there should be minimal room for error um, and all parts should slot together. You can see that the limber holes and batten cutouts are done in every frame and all of these parts are nested into the DXF files that you get. Also included is just a general assembly detail of how the battens should be done on the boat in CNC format and things like the engine hatch assembly. There is illustrations of how that should go along with uh, part labeling that references all DXF files. So onto the DXF files, you can see that these are all pre-nested um, for correct grain orientation. All of the frame parts are nested onto 610 by 2440 mil panels. The idea behind that is that if you want to cut frames from solid timber, you can glue up panels of solid timber and CNC cut these in a fairly sensible format. If you wanted to cut these from full size ply sheets, these boxes can just be nested side by side. There's four of these all together. They will form a full ply sheet so they can be produced either way around but the idea is that the parts are pre-nested ready to go straight to a manufacturer all parts are complete outlines and they also have uh, references on them as well these can either be engraved at the time of machining or you can just print out these files and use the numbers on them as a reference for identifying the parts afterwards. There are also um, DXFs that are in full 8x4 sheet size um, which make up the forms for the boat so the cockpit combing form, the frame supports and the keel forms all of those things are nested on these sheets. Uh, they don't necessarily need to be cut from anything particularly special they can just be MDF because they're disposable basically just used to create and align various parts of the boat so those are all separated out the sheets are also nested by part thickness so you've got 18 mil sheets you've got 9 mil sheets and then you've got 6 mil sheets so these are already pre-arranged by what material thickness they need to be so the 9 mil contains all of the bottom parts for the boat and the gussets as well and then the 6mm sheets contain the hull sides. The hull sides have been joined um, with a dovetail system so that you can create hull sides in one long piece without the need to then do an additional scarf on the sheet. 
Okay, so that's the basis of what's covered in each type of plan that I've made available. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more of an insight as to what you actually get with the plans because I know some sets don't really tend to show you any information at all so you don't really know what you're getting until you actually receive the plans. As I say I've tried to include as much detail in there as I wish I had when I started building the boat and hopefully that'll help other people out. If you've got any questions about the design or the plan sets just pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if there's anything you think is perhaps missing from there and should be in the plans but isn't by all means let me know about that as well um, and if you do buy a set of the plans and I make any revisions further down the line you'll get um, updates for that as well so if anything gets added in or altered I'll pass that on down so there we go hope you enjoyed the uh, the new plan sets and uh, go and check them out I'm planning to do a series of videos where I actually cut all of these parts and I'll show you how the CNC kit goes together and is formed. I'm not going to build another complete boat because I've only just finished the last one, um, but I'll show you up to a certain stage how it's constructed from this new plan set. Okay, so I think that's covered everything. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see what else I'm getting up to.